Hi everybody, Dale Campbell again here at Don Johnson Motors in Rice Lake, Wisconsin to tell you about our 2017 Chevrolet Tahoe. This is an executive driven vehicle folks, so uh, nice low miles, under 20,000 miles, uh, very good looking vehicle and well taken care of. Of course, uh, being an LT, it does have the projector beam headlamps, the nice chrome front end appearance, equipped with a 5.3 V8 engine, automatic transmission, has the four-wheel drive, so it's a two high and auto and four high. Let's take a look at the interior. It's a beautiful blue color. Can't you see that? That's nice. It does have the leather seats, full power driver and passenger, along with the heated seats. Nice center armrest, deep storage in that. A couple USB ports, input for an iPod, also a 12-volt power outlet and lights. Ahead of it, you see there's a couple USB ports, another 12 volt power outlet. You do have the heated seats for both, both the driver and the passenger. Rear climate control so the guests in the back seat can adjust their own temperature or the driver can take care of it for them. Dual automatic climate control for the front seats also. And of course it's an AM FM XM radio, the touch screen MyLink radio that also changes to a backup camera when we put it in reverse. It has the the features of Apple CarPlay and Android also, Android Auto also for you. And of course you can uh, stream music from your phone if you have a smartphone and enjoy the sound. Still equipped with a CD player also, folks. Let's take a peek now at the second row. This does have seating for eight buckets here in the front. A bench seat in the second row, so you can get three guests here in the second row. And it does have a third row where it where a couple or three guests can sit back there also. I'm going to pull a lever here to trip the second row seat. We'd lift it one more time and that's how we'd gain access to go into the third row. You see how that seat is flipped up? It gives you access to go back to the third row where right now we have one seat tipped down and the other side is up. We'll put this seat back down. I'll put, it back, put the back rest back up. As I mentioned, there's the controls for the uh, heater for the second row. There's also a 12-volt power outlet. And this one's equipped with a regular 110 household outlet there on the left side of that. I realize it's kind of dark and hard to see that, folks. It does have an armrest for the guests here in the second row. Pull it down. There's a couple cup holders in there for you also. We make our way out of the back. There's a nice LT chrome badging on that beautiful blue exterior. It does have the ultrasonic rear park assist. That's those sensors there in the back bumper again. The two inch receiver hitch, so you'd be able to tow your trailer, your boat, your snowmobiles, whatever you'd like to tow. And this one is equipped with the power remote hatch. Step back, press the button on the remote a couple times and up it goes for us. I like how we've got the flat load surface now on these. Behind that third row seat, so you can put them up or down. There is some storage behind here. We grab that handle, lift it up. And of course, the vehicle does have wiring for the trailer brake if you needed to add that. In the bag here is a cargo net, which would stretch across the back of the vehicle. And of course, then the little funnel, uh, because we've gone capless, so that'd be a way to put gas in the car if you needed to, if you happen to run out of gas. I'll close the gate by pushing the button on the edge of the tailgate. And down it comes. Of course, as I mentioned earlier inside, it does have a backup camera. And that camera is located right below the bow tie there on the back, right above the license plate. Make our way around. There's your gas cap again behind that cap. It's, there's no cap there behind the door, I should say. Inside the driver's seat, of course, we've got your memory settings for the driver's seat. Memory one and memory two. Your window and, and uh, door handle lock out the bottom here for the second row seats. And power windows for all four. Which mirror would you like to adjust? And then, of course, the mirror adjustment along with your door locks. Work our way inside now to the dash. The first switch, of course, is to adjust the, the dash lights, make them brighter or dimmer at nighttime. Your automatic headlamps, and then, of course, the four wheel drive switch. It does have the ability to adjust the pedals forward and backwards, about three inches of travel. Here's where we can turn off our traction control if necessary. Turning off the rear park assist and turning on the lane departure warning. 
here we've got our forward collision adjustment. And of course, that's the cruise control on the left hand, left hand side of the steering wheel, along with the voice activation and driver's information button on the right. On the back side of that steering wheel, there are buttons on the right hand side to increase, the, increase or decrease your radio volume, and on the left side, uh, buttons where you can in, or change your radio station settings. Of course, that turn signal handle does have your rear window wiper on it here, and your front wiper, and of course, your high beams, low beams, and so forth. Yes, it's still equipped with OnStar, everybody, so you can have the complimentary OnStar service. We'll help you download the My Chevrolet app to your phone. If you have a smartphone, you should be able to start this remotely from any locations or lock it. It's a very nice feature. There's a lot of other things that come on that remote, um, and that vehicle has Wi-Fi capabilities, so we can help you with that. If you have any questions about this 2017 Chevrolet Tahoe, it's a 1LT, folks. It was executive driven by General Motors. Give myself a call, Dale Campbell. You can reach me here at Don Johnson Motors at 715-475-1414. Thanks for stopping by today.